All right. Good evening, everybody. Uh, I am Robert Ovadia, your pub the Public Works Director for the Town of Atherton. And I do want to thank you all for joining us this evening. Um, before we get started, I would like to uh, just go through a couple of housekeeping notes. Um, and so for some of you that are joining us on Zoom, a lot of you are familiar with how it works, but uh, for those that are not familiar, I want to say thank you for uh, joining us in this virtual reality. We do appreciate it. Um, we will be um, trying to acknowledge those folks that have joined us by telephone and don't have uh, screens in front of them with regards to the presentation. So um, we do have uh, opportunities for you to ask questions as well as to, um, to participate both as we make this presentation as we move into breakout rooms. And so the primary ways that you can uh, participate and ask questions would be first through our chat window. You can, uh, at the bottom of your screen, if you move your mouse, you'll see uh, a menu um, and there is a chat box. So if you click on chat, it will open up a chat window and you can type in a message and ask a question there. Um, or under participants, uh, you can, uh, at the bottom of participants is an area to raise your hand. And so if you click that, you'll get a notation that you would like to speak or ask a question. And um, please do use those. For those that are on the phone, uh, we know that you can't join us by chat, but you can raise your hand by hitting star nine. Again, that's star nine to raise your hand if you're on the phone. So during the presentation, for those that are on the computer, there will be a couple of uh, polling questions that pop up. Uh, there was one that was uh, that started a little earlier. Um, and so we do appreciate if you are able to provide us with some of the, um, with your answer to these questions, it'll help us uh, gather some information so that we can better communicate with you and understand what your concerns are. Um, after the formal presentation, we will be moving into breakout rooms, and that'll be basically based on uh, we have divided the, the town into a few areas um, and with the participants tonight. Um, we will be moving into two different groups and we'll be asking you later on if we haven't pre registered you uh, with regards to the area of interest. We'll be uh, breaking out one room for the area east of El Camino and another room for the area west of El Camino. And so you'll be invited to join um, at the appropriate time. And what you will do is uh, you'll click on, um, on the bar that shows up on your screen. And so thank you for bearing with me while we went, while I ran through the housekeeping measures. Um, you know, so thank you again for joining us tonight. I do want to acknowledge that we have uh, our city manager as well as a, a couple of council members with us. I see Elizabeth Lewis has joined us as well as Mike Lempris. Um, I'm going to check real quick to see if we have any others. I know George Rodericks, our city manager, is with us as well. Um, so thank you for, for joining. Um, and so we are in the process of developing a neighborhood traffic management action plan to help us address traffic and mobility issues and concerns throughout the town, including on local streets and main roadways. Um, the, the town and the city council are well aware that traffic and mobility issues are a primary concern for the residents and the council has authorized this effort um, to better understand the key issues and concerns of the residents and to develop an action plan by which we can address them. And so to that end, our first, uh, our first step in the process is hearing from you. And so we've set up two listening sessions to hear your issues and concerns, uh, both today and next Thursday. Both meetings are intended to be the same. Um, we are 
eager to get your input, your neighbor's input, and we have additional opportunities for input um, online as well as via email. And so please uh, participate. We'll be going through how you can do that later on in the presentation. After we gather that input, we're going to look at what those poten what potential solutions might be uh, to address uh, the issues that are raised and move forward with trying to develop a comprehensive traffic management action plan. So again, the purpose of tonight's meeting as well as next week's meeting is to hear from you. We want to know what you feel are important, what the major issues are in town. Um, and so it's not for us to talk about solutions. It's really to get feedback from you as to what the key issues that you feel are important for the town to address. So at this time, I'd like to introduce the project team. We have from TJKM helping us in this effort, uh, Ruta Jarawala, Ian Lin, Divya Gandhi, Rhea Debnath, and Dewal Kataria. And so um, they're going to help me and the town manage this process. Uh, several of them will be managing the uh, breakout rooms as we move to them. And uh, again, thank you for participating tonight. We're going to go a little bit over the background of the project and what's led us to this point. An outline of the project, um, some potential traffic calming measures that could be used, but we are not at this point predetermining what the solutions might be, where they might be applicable. Again, that's going to be a later phase um, in the process, and we will be certainly outreaching again to the community to see what, their, what your thoughts are with regards to any proposed measures. We'll be reviewing some feedback tools, particularly our website and the opportunities for providing input through that avenue, and some of our next steps. And then following that, we'll be going into those breakout rooms so that you can specifically raise concerns in your neighborhood or throughout the town um, in the breakout rooms. And so we have the first poll. Uh, the question is, how did you hear about tonight's meeting? We uh, tried to outreach through a variety of avenues. Um, and that includes through the town's website. We've issued news flashes. We've mailed out postcards. Hopefully you've gotten those. There was an article in the Almanac News. There were postings on social media. Uh, you may have heard of it from a friend, family member, or neighbor, or from somewhere else. We really want to know what is an effective way to outreach to the community. Um, and so by providing your feedback here, it really will help us understand um, how, how you were reached and how we can better reach you and your neighbors in the future. And so we'll give a few minutes for that to um, go on. We only have a few participants that have answered thus far. If you answered earlier, please answer again, because I think that was just a test that was put up earlier on. So again, please, uh, please provide your feedback. Okay, we'll give it another minute. Uh, looks like uh, Half of you have answered so far, and uh, mailer and postcard seems to be uh, the way that the majority of her, majority of you heard of this, and we appreciate that. Um, we'll give it just another couple seconds before we move on. All right. So thank you. Um, so, as a measure of background, um, the town has started looking at, has been looking at traffic and transportation issues for quite a while. Um, a while back, uh, the town developed a um, bicycle and pedestrian master plan. Uh, the town developed a neighborhood traffic management plan that provides an outline of various uh, opportunities for uh, addressing traffic in the neighborhoods. Um, and part of the reason for this effort is that not many people have taken advantage of that opportunity. And so we are outreaching to 
the community in a fell swoop to try and gather where key issues are. Um, and so with that effort, um, you know, we have, again, broken up the town into a couple areas so that we can solicit input and um, and hear from you. And we know that traffic and mobility are a, a major concern for our residents. And so with regards to the project outline, you know, we've done a couple of studies to help us uh, understand a little bit with regards to some underlying issues in town. There was a study that was done specifically on the Alameda corridor, as well as um, a townwide traffic study to kind of see where traffic, what kind of traffic patterns we have, where we have pass through traffic and some potential cut through traffic areas. Um, and that's analytical data, but we really want to hear again from, uh, from you what your issues and concerns are. And so we have this listening session today as well as the one next Thursday. Uh, following those listening sessions, we're going to uh, distill that information, summarize the feedback that we've received. We'll be presenting that information to you on our website, just kind of a rundown of the kind of feedback that we've gotten will then be moving forward to trying to develop some potential alternatives. And then we'll be making a presentation with regards to those alternatives and seeking your feedback on what you think will work, understanding that there are always trade-offs where you potentially might think a solution will, will work in a particular area, but we'll be going over solutions, some the benefits and drawbacks of each of those to get feedback and to get your input with regards to priorities before we present uh, a report out to the town council and the transportation committee. And then once we get their feedback, we're, look, we're looking forward to developing the action plan uh, that will give us a layout of how to move forward in addressing some of these problems. And so here's our second polling question. And this is, what is your top traffic safety and mobility related concern? Anthony, if you can pull that up on the screen. Uh, the options that we have for those of you that are on the phone, um, we have congestion, speeding, line of sight or visibility issues, cut through traffic, inadequate walkways or crosswalks, lack of bicycle facilities, streets being too dark, personal safety, inadequate or illegal parking, construction traffic, construction parking. So these are just some of the items that we know might be a concern for you. Um, and we want to get your feedback as to uh, whether any of these items resonate with you as a top priority for the town. So we'll give a couple of minutes for that to happen. Okay, I'm going to apologize. I do not at this point see the results of the poll, and uh, I will thank those of you to uh, those of you that have uh, participated. Um, okay, uh, let's see here. Oh, there it is. 
Okay, so it looks like uh, we have about 44% that are saying that speeding is a priority issue as well as 44% on cut through. There's some concern with regards to personal safety and congestion. And so thank you all for participating in, uh, in the poll. Um, I believe that we have a raised hand, but I will um, hold on just a minute um, as we get through a couple more slides before we um, open up to um, some questions. And so as I indicated, though we're not talking solutions at this point, um, we did want to share a couple of tools that are in our toolbox. Um, and that includes, you know, pedestrian improvements, crossing improvements, signage, striping, uh, speed feedback signs, targeted enforcement. These are all things that are in the toolbox as well as some other things, including um, potential roadway narrowing in certain areas turn restrictions, speed lumps, traffic circles, uh, flashing beacons at crosswalks. Again, these are, these are tools that we're not predetermining which tool or where they would go at this point. Again, we're here to listen to you as to where the issues are so that we can look at what the potential solutions might be. Um, with regards to our next steps, um, we're gonna be shortly moving into breakout sessions so that we can have that one-on-one -on -one dialogue with you. Um, we will be having the same meeting next, next week, same agenda. Um, feel free to join us next week if you have something that occurs to you uh, between now and then and you didn't have an opportunity to, to speak or raise your, raise your hand with regards to your concerns. But um, there are also avenues for you to do so online if you don't feel comfortable talking to us directly. Um, again, we'll be summarizing the feedback received uh, from the listening sessions as well as the surveys that are posted online. And we'll be putting all of that on our, on our website. Um, again, we've uh, broken up the town into uh, a few different zones and different neighborhoods. Uh, for the purpose of tonight's meeting with the number of folks that we have, we've decided to break out into two separate rooms. Um, one room will be focused on the area east of El Camino and the other one will be focused on that area west of El Camino. All right, and so at this time, uh, Robert, we'll be uh, opening. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Robert, I think we need to go back a couple of slides. Most probably you skipped uh, one more right there. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, I no apologize. Worries. Why don't you go ahead? Why don't you go ahead, Ruta? Yeah. Um, so I'm just uh, going to echo what Robert said that um, this is a very, very important uh, session or workshop for us because we want to hear from you what your concerns are within your neighborhood because you are the best judge and we want to take this opportunity to make sure that we do listen to all your concerns um, that you have. Now, uh, to do that, we have uh, created different methods and means to facilitate, um, you know, uh, giving you that opportunity to get to us and let us know what your comments are. The first one is uh, uh, the project website for the people who are on the phone who can, cannot look at the uh, presentation. The project website is the URL for the project website is www atherton-traffic-management.com. It is a live website. It is going to be live throughout the life of the project. So any update that we do throughout the project will be updated on that website. So we really urge you to go and um, uh, visit that website to get all the updates throughout the project. Along with that, uh, we have two different means of solicitating inputs from you. One is an interactive map. And I'm going to go through that um, in a few minutes as to how to use it, just in case if you haven't had a chance to go to the project website. And then there is a short survey with probably 10 to 12, 12 questions. Very simple, wouldn't take you more than three to five minutes to answer that, but that would really help us to understand 
um, you better and your needs better. Um, with that, I'm going to share my screen here. So here is the project website that we have created specifically for this project. And as I mentioned, this is a live website throughout the life of the project. Um, couple of tabs that uh, we could go through. Um, the first one is the project overview, kind of gives you the overview of the project, where, where did we evolve from? Um, um, and that just was given by Robert just a few minutes ago, that why we think that this project is important. And the most important reason is to get the feedback from community. We wanna make sure that whatever we implement, you are going to like that, and that's going to make difference for you in the community. So um, that kind of gives you an overview of the project. Uh, providing input, again, um, I, as I mentioned, there are two ways of providing input to us. One is to take a survey, and the other one is the interactive map input. If you click on take a survey tab, it would lead you to another um, tab which has a couple of questions. And as I said, they are very, very simple questions. Which neighborhood do you belong to? How often do you drive? Um, how, how often do you walk through your neighborhood? So we would really like to know that. And it doesn't take more than three to five minutes to answer this. Towards the end of the survey, uh, we urge you to leave your information because that would help us to notify you uh, regarding upcoming events. We don't want you to miss any workshops or any public meetings uh, or any project updates. So please do fill this out so that we can send you regular emails on the update of the project. And once you're done, you can just hit done and um, it, it will get you out. Um, the other one, the other way we could get your uh, input is through interactive map input. And I really, really like this tool um, because um, you can actually go to the exact location that you are concerned about. For example, there are two ways you can do it. You can either pin a location. Say, for example, if you do have an issue at a particular intersection, then you can in that intersection and tell us what your concerns are. And then the other way of doing it is drawing a line. So if you do have an issue with a particular segment, then you can draw a line and say, this is the segment where I have an issue and what is your concern? Um, I'm gonna give you an example for pinning a location. Say for example, um, we do have an issue at the intersection of Middlefield and Watkins. Um, so you take that point, put it right there, say that's the correct location. I agree. My concern over here is it's really difficult to make left from Watkins onto, oh sorry, from Middlefield onto Watkins or Watkins onto Middlefield, either way. There would be Watkins onto Middlefield. Yeah, Watkins to middle field um, or anything else you can add. And then you can just save that. Um, say you have another issue and it does not limit you to number of locations you can pin. You can go back, you can say, draw a line. I can draw a line from this block to the other block, which is the block between Heritage and uh, Palmer Lane and there and say, could you please look into providing pedestrian facility or any other concern you might have? You can save that. Go next. Um, this is just information to Robert's email and phone number, just in case if you have any other issues, please feel free to contact him. And done. And that, that, that is it. So just wanted to give you a little bit of uh, um, kind of a trial to how can you use um, the two different methods of um, 
uh, giving us your input. The other tab, the next tab is outreach event information. So we, we will be updating um, all our sessions right here, just like this one today. We are, um, uh, it is August 6th. Six to eight, we are going to have the first listening session. If you want, if you weren't able to attend or weren't able to give all your inputs, you're welcome to join uh, August 13th also. It's going to be exactly same presentation. So if your family, family, friends have missed this uh, presentation today um, due to any of the conflicts, uh, please ask them to um, attend the August 13th uh, workshop because we're going to go through the same thing again on August 13th. This just gives us flexibility so that everyone has uh, a chance to attend um, the workshop. Along with that, if you go to project updates and you want to be updated, there is a sus sus subscribe, sorry, subscribe um, tab here, which you can click and you can leave your information and we will make sure that we send you regular uh, emails regarding the project. Download. Um, as Robert mentioned, Town has really put in a lot of effort create, working on other plans also. And we want to make sure that we don't reinvent the wheel. We build on the effort that was put together before and build on top of it. So if you want to look at any previous studies that were done, then we have uh, uploaded them um, in this particular area and you can download them, review them, or have any questions, please do let us know. Um, stay connected is again where you could subscribe for uh, getting the project updates and not only that we would really want to hear back from you or get your feedback on the first workshop so if you want us to fine-tune our process or if we have missed something or you didn't like anything then do send us the comments and we would make sure that we incorporate that in the second workshop and I think with that um, Robert, I'm okay, going to start sharing. Do have a we do have a raised hand, mm -hmm. um, and so I don't have a name, but I do have last four digits, four nine six one. Um, so I'm going to unmute you. I I. <laughs> Hello. I hit that by accident. I don't have a question at this point. Sorry. <laughs> Oh, no oh, that's not a problem. <laughs> um, I will want, I do want to say that we did receive a message in the chat window from a resident that was having some difficulty in putting information on the map with, uh, through their telephone. Um, it, you, you are welcome to uh, reach out to me directly. Um, either, some, either myself or somebody from the project team will reach out to you. Uh, to help you with any technical issues that you have. Um, alternatively, you are more than welcome to submit via email um, if it's easier for you that way. Um, again, we're going to be heading into the breakout room shortly, so you'll be able to also um, provide your, um, your issues there. Okay. Um, and so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and open up if there's any questions or uh, comments that you have before we uh, migrate our way into the breakout room, please raise your hand um, and uh, we'll try, try and call on you. Um, again, to, if you're on your telephone and don't have the raise your hand feature uh, ready to you, if you hit star nine, um, it'll do that as well. So. Um, I do not see any raised hands. You have missed uh, Robert, we do uh, oh, we have, have one. one. Yes. Yes. Uh, Miss uh, Walker? Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Thank you very much. Um, so I, I guess I, in preparation for this meeting, I did read the, um, <clears throat> the report, uh, the Neighborhood Traffic Management Program, and <clears throat> It was very informative, but uh, I was actually quite concerned that it didn't seem to go far enough because uh, I have serious concerns about about life safety, not not just pedestrians, not just bicyclists, but actually even people driving cars at certain intersections that are extremely dangerous. And I think 
I think most of the city, the town folks know where those are. I live in Lindenwood and I'm talking about the Linden Gate, the James Gate, <clears throat> the Oak Grove intersection, and also the Watkins and Middlefield T. Those are, I mean, I don't have the data, I'm sure you do. I would love to see it because I'd be willing to bet that there are more accidents at those intersections than almost anywhere else. And you know what? None of the things that I read about in the program document um, got to the level that would fix that because it would take a stop sign or a traffic light. It's not going to happen with a circle or anything like, you know, a, a traffic okay. circle. Okay. Well, thank you for your, for your comment. We do appreciate the feedback and we do request that you actually enumerate those, whether it's on the map or otherwise, in addition to the neighborhood traffic management plan, uh, what you'll find on the website is the um, long range traffic analysis that was done and it actually does cover uh, some of the major routes and we do want to hear what the concerns are on the major routes as well. And so, uh, for example, the Alameda corridor study looked at Alameda in particular um, and had some recommendations there. Um, but the townwide study did cover other major routes where there are some major mobility issues, and that includes some areas along Middlefield as well as along Valparaiso and other areas. So we do, um, again, we're not here to talk about what the answers are yet, but we do want to hear from you where you think those major problems are. So thank you for, uh, for raising those. Please do um, include uh, those items in your feedback through the tools and in the meetings that we'll be breaking out. Okay, thank you. Uh, do we have any other participants that um, have any general questions before we move into the breakout rooms? At this point, I don't see any, uh, Oh, we have one. So hold on just a second. Uh, Mr. Russo. Yes, thank you for uh, taking my question. Uh, I have a major concern with the amount of construction going on in the town, uh, given or having the multi-ton trucks that obviously our roads cannot, uh, are not capable of holding and also the large amounts of earth moving equipment that is moving up and down the road. It creates a serious problem for walkers, for bikers, for people walking dogs and things like that. And uh, with the size of houses going up right now around here, it takes anywhere from three to five years to complete it. So I've seen a town, I've been here 33 years, I've seen a town which has been largely under construction for the past two decades. And uh, I do not think the roads are capable of holding the equipment that is coming in and out of here. Thank you. Thank you. All right, um, so at this point, we are gonna start moving folks into, um, into Robert, the breakout rooms. This, yes. is An this is Anthony. I think uh, Ms. Briscoe may have been raising her hand. If she I, was right. I, I didn't know how to. Um, no worries, you've to, got the floor. To do that. Um, I live on Selby Lane and I have some major concerns about the cut through traffic from Woodside Road and the speeding. Um, I also would like to ask a question. The, from our property line where our fences and gates are, there seems to be about a 10 foot swath of land that we have to maintain, but I don't think we own. So does the town of Atherton own the property and we just have to maintain it? Um, well, I'm happy to talk to you specifically about your property and, and that kind of thing outside no, no, no. of the scope of this every meeting. Si every single property that my, my suggestion yeah, so, is if we don't own it, perhaps the town could make use of that property, that piece of land in front of our homes, making a, um, I, I'm looking at a lot of young families now who live here and it is very difficult to push a baby stroller on all of our streets because of the traffic that is going through. Now, I live in area three. So, um, you know, Almondral, Tuscaloosa, Atherton Avenue are my streets. Um, and it is very challenging. I watch these young moms trying to push a baby stroller with the traffic coming through. And it would be wonderful if, if we don't own that piece of property, maybe for the town to develop it into a 
walking lane um, on one side of the street or the other. It, it wouldn't matter which side. You don't have to take both sides. Um, I would happily give up my piece in the front of my, of my land. So um, I, I think it's dangerous. Um, I, when I come through um, off the Alameda, um, there is a, you cannot cut through on Oak Knoll during certain times of the day. I think it's seven to nine and four to six um, off of um, whatever that side street is. It's, um, it's not AB, it's not the Alameda, whatever it is, it's by the graveyard. Um, and perhaps some of the signs could be put up so that the cut through traffic is not so intense and, and the, the congestion on El Camino has forced ways to push all the traffic through Menlo Park and through Atherton. Yeah, well, thank you for uh, the information. We appreciate it. And if, like I said, um, the map is a great place to put notations for where you think those walking paths would be ideal. Um, it's an opportunity for you to actually kind of draw out particular areas where, uh, this is to everybody, where you think that there are issues with regards to safety and mobility and kind of highlight where um, where the town should be looking at potentially putting in some additional pedestrian facilities. We, we've actually asked for speed bumps, bumps on Selby for a number of years and it's nothing's happened. And I think that would probably help with some of the speeding. Okay. All right. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, well, we have one more raised hand. I'm going to call on her, but again, what we're going to do is going to break out so folks can talk about particular issues in uh, in their neighborhoods. And so uh, with that, I have Colleen Haight. Hi, I just wanted to echo Ms. Briscoe's concerns. Uh, also living on Selby, I see the exact same thing. Recently, having renovated the front of our house, uh, there is room there for pathways and the city demands it when you do renovate that you put in a pedestrian walkway of gravel or whatever. Um, but the speeding and the cut throughs and the Google buses and the high tech buses, uh, no amount of walkway is going to fix that issue. The, the buses at least don't speed but the other people cutting through the neighborhood, not only speed, but they blow through all of our stop signs. Okay. All right, thank you. Okay, so we're gonna start migrating folks over. There may be a few folks that will still be uh, lingering as we move, uh, move through. And if you haven't pre-registered, um, we may be asking you actually if uh, you wouldn't mind in the chat window um, to mark east or west and what that refers to is east of El Camino or west of El Camino so that we can uh, facilitate moving you over into those um, into those breakout rooms. And so with that, I'll put up a, a little map here. And so basically areas one and two are the areas uh, east of El Camino and then areas three, four, and five uh, are the areas west of El Camino. You're all familiar with that. Um, and so we'll be starting to migrate folks over. Um, feel free to uh, reach out directly. If you have the invite on your screen to join the breakout room, please go ahead and click join and you'll, uh, and you'll be migrated over. Um, our host should be there uh, shortly to, to, to guide you through. This is Anthony. I'm just assisting with the room. So if for some reason you don't get an invite pop up on your screen, um, I will send you a message or just unmute you to ask you which room you'd like to be assigned to. Okay. And then uh, for those that are not on the computer uh, that are joining us by phone, we'll call on your um, on your phone number and uh, and ask you so that you can um, provide us with the input. And the so nine, the first one of those, what's that? 4961, I need to know where they're going. Oh, okay. um, Four, nine, I live on Stern Lane by Atherton Avenue. So is that? Oh, that's going to be west of El Camino. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so Anthony, 4961 is west. So which room is that? Two. That is uh, two. 
Okay, and we've got, let's see here, call in user one. Is that one of the, the consultants? Uh, I don't think so. So we don't have a phone number. Uh, please go ahead and let us know. You're unmuted. Okay, why don't we move over to 13, sorry, uh, 3857. Three, eight, Bingo, I think you reached the chief. Okay. Mute. Oh, okay. Um, I think co hosts about, uh, can go by themselves if you guys are ready. Yeah. Co hosts can go ahead. And yeah, go. the host should go. I'll clean up the rooms. Uh, Kirk Everett. Hi. It's actually Rebecca. My husband is Kirk. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, Rebecca, which side would you like to be on, east side uh, or west room, side? Uh, room two will be great for me. Thank you. Room two, great. Um, Anthony, you can uh -huh. also move on. Miss Walker to uh, east of El Camino. And Yvonne, she's already been assigned. Okay. Um, how about uh, Julia Wall? I'm trying to unmute. It's not working. Um, one, go. East, of El Camino. East of El Camino. East of El Camino. Thank you. As a co-host, I don't see a, a breakout room option. Where would you like to go, George? <laughs> no, I'm just saying, yeah. you, got, you got others who are listed as co-hosts here. They may not see one either. Yeah, we don't see... Yeah, that is correct, Anthony. You would have to uh, you would have to uh, assign us okay. to our yeah, respective. Can you go groups. ahead, and, Anthony? Why don't you go ahead and move the hosts out, the co-hosts out? All right. So let's just. Um, go down I think we have Ian works. and uh, Divya going into room one. Divya and who else? Ian. Uh, Divya and Ian. Okay. And then you have um, Rhea and uh, DeWall going into room two. Okay. Okay. And then, then after can that, you, you can do Rhea again? Oh, okay, right there. Okay, why don't you go ahead and unmute everybody that's in the main room here. Um, so Robert, we had Aureli just in case if uh, you know, we needed a Spanish speaker. If not, then okay. I can just have her leave. Okay. I, I don't know that we need a Spanish speaker at this point. Um, okay. Put me in. Um, we have somebody listed as caller user one. Caller user one. Where are you going, George? Area okay, two, uh, Fair Oaks, Lloyd, Lloyd and Park. Yeah, so that's going to be east of El Camino, Anthony. And then Council Member Lewis. Sorry, you're muted. Uh, who is 3857, Robert? That's the chief. Of oh, that's the chief. Chief, do you want to go somewhere in particular? Anthony, could you please have Nyan go to room number two? Done. Okay. We have uh, Sally Herrick is uh, rejoining via audio. Um, yeah, hi, hi, this is Sally Herrick. Hi. Yeah. Sorry uh, about that. Which side I, I, would you like to go to? Well, would I think, I, I think I, I'm that? sorry, I was unavoidably taken away. I, I think I'm on the uh, uh, east side of El Camino. Okay, Anthony. Move on.
Okay. Aureli, if you I want to leave, leave, that should be fine. All right. Anthony, I don't know if you want to reach out to uh, Council Member Lewis. Uh, you can unmute uh, Council Member DeGolia as well. Hello, Mayor DeGolia, which room would you like to be assigned to? Uh, probably north of Atherton Avenue. Okay. Okay, so that's going to be west of El Camino, that's Anthony, El Camino. so room two. So you should get a pop-up that uh, has you know, has an invite for you to join the breakout room. Robert, can you see the breakout room uh, icon at the bottom? I I don't see. That's strange. I don't. You don't. Neither of you see the breakout icon at the bottom. Mm-hmm. Well, do you want me to? And I think that was the issue that uh, the host had as well. Why don't I try to assign you guys both to rooms so that you can see how do you join and come out? Uh, yeah, okay. I can go. Oh, no, I know we know how to join and come out. I just uh, don't have the. Um, you can assign us. That's I think what needed to happen is that you need to assign us to both. I can't assign you to both. It's one or the other. Okay. All right. Um, Maybe, um, so you Robert, any... you can go to one and I can go to two either way, it's fine. <laughs> that, that sounds fine. I don't think that there's anybody else left uh, in the main room, Anthony, other than the council member, the chief, uh, who has not indicated where he wants to go. And then Yvonne has, uh, uh, Miss Walker, I'm sorry, um, should be in the area um, east of El Camino. And then Ms. Uh, Ms. Herrick is back on, back in the meeting. Yeah, I'm going to have to sign off. I'm so sorry. Is this going to be available oh, later that's okay. uh, by, by recording or anything like that? Um, uh, yeah, we'll be providing uh, information back to everybody with regards to okay. the input, input that okay. we've received. You are welcome right. to provide your input online or via email. Well, I already did it early on when I got the first message. Um, Great. Uh, yeah. So, uh, but I definitely, I apologize for tonight. It just, I've had some complications, so I'm going to have to leave, That's but okay. I will. Well, we thank up. you for joining us I, for I, as I, long as you did. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Bye-bye. Okay. Hello. How are you doing, Elizabeth? Hi there. Um, hello, everyone. This is Elizabeth Lewis, and um, I just want to, Thank our staff. Robert, you've done a great job. George, uh, we've been working on this traffic management plan for a long time. It's a very serious uh, issue throughout our town. I think all of our residents, me included, um, suffer or experience uh, congestion um, uh, delays, and uh, safety issues that we really need to address. And I think that our town uh, is taking this on in a very thoughtful way. I uh, commend uh, Robert, our public works director. He's um, an amazing guy and he understands all of this. Uh, I agree with so many of our residents' uh, comments, Pat and Colleen, about um, we need to protect our um, residents from uh, danger with uh, baby strollers and bicycles and things like this. We're not the town that we were 50 years ago with a very uh, modest amount of traffic. We have a tremendous amount of pass-through traffic. So I am all for uh, protected bike lanes or uh, using some of our right-of-ways if we can get residents to buy into it as some of our residents have a, uh, just suggested that they be willing to in order to give our um, mothers with little babies and bicycles and pedestrians some safety. And that's all I have to say. Okay. Thank you very much. I look forward to the well, next well, one. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Did you want to jump into the breakout room for your neighborhood to hear what uh, people are saying? I do. And I'm sorry, I had to uh, uh, 
log off for just a minute or two, but which oh, breakout okay. room am I in? Uh, you'll be in number two. Anthony, can you invite her to room two? Okay. So okay, did you send an invite to me for a breakout room, Anthony? I do want to jump in and see what's going on in, in the yeah. room. Thank you. Anthony, do do uh, look out for the chat mass messages. If we want to come back, then I don't know how can we say that. <laughs> oh, now I suddenly see the breakout room icon. I don't know what happened, but already. I'll see you later. Hello, Chief. Hello. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I kind of got, um, can you hear me? I can hear you just fine. Would you like to be reassigned to a breakout room? Yeah, I'm in, um, I think, two. I live off of Atherton Avenue. I will send you back now. <clears throat> hey, Anthony. Hello. Uh, so breakout room one is closing up right now. I think they're jumping into the main meeting, but... Uh, you want me to assign you to breakout room two so you can check in on that? Uh, please. Hey, Anthony, can you get me into breakout room two as well? Yes, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> Colleen and John, would either of you like to also join another breakout room or are you happy to sign off now? I'm happy to uh, sign off. I just wanted to say thanks. It, uh, it, it's always interesting. And uh, John, thanks right, for your appreciate comments. I appreciated those too. Thank you, Colleen. I was just about to ask if it was okay for me to use the fact that Mike Lempers was smiling at me. <laughs> He's gone now. And I have a question for him that really doesn't have much to do with this, but since we were just sitting here hooked up, I thought maybe I could ask him. Ah. <laughs> well, he, he already uh, he left already. Oh, well, you're welcome to email him. Too bad. All right. Well, I'm going to leave too. Thanks, Robert. Thanks, everybody. <laughs> okay. Thanks, Thank you. you guys. Anthony, Have a good evening. Ms. Walker. Yeah. I, I don't know if um you you'd left for a while, but I had initially assigned you to breakout room one, um, which has ended. Would you like to go into the conversation for breakout room two? Because this meeting space here, once they're done in the breakout rooms, it'll be over. So yeah, I, can you hear me? I can, yes. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I had technical problems. So um when we went to the breakout room, I, I, I tried to access a URL that George Roderick sent out, and then I couldn't get back into the meeting room. I, I heard everything, but I couldn't get back in, so I just went in the other room with my husband, and I participated with him in breakout session one, so no worries. Okay, well, there will be, there will be another meeting, um, 13th, if you want to, you know, join that one, and, and the uh, results of this meeting will folks so if you don't want to join i think then uh this will this will, you're you're welcome to sign off and you know you'll you'll be included in uh folks that get uh, an email out with some results right you know i would love to sign off except i can't find i can't find <laughs> where it is so you can sign me off you have my authority to sign me off <laughs> well thank you take care have a great rest of your week all right thank you bye bye um, I should get some emails just indicating that the meetings are recorded. And then I think your, your consultants asked about the transcripts from the chat. So I can go in. I'm hoping for the breakout rooms I can get the, the, the transcript for the chat. So I'll, I'll double check on that this evening. All right. Okay. Thanks, Anthony. Thank you. Thanks for uh, helping manage tonight. We really appreciate it. Oh, of course. No, I still see people in the breakout room. Um, I don't know if they're talking, but I know that you've got consultants in there, so I'm not going to leave it. I'm not going to close anything until the 8 p.m. window, I don't think. Well, well why you, don't you just go ahead and put something in the chat indicating that the room's going to close in a couple minutes. Okay. While you're assessing it, I think a really interesting response to the survey was that 56% of the people were alerted to this meeting on the mailer and postcards. I agree. And, and everything else was, you know, uh, except social media, which wasn't very much, everything else was pretty good. But the mailer and postcards was by far the most significant. That I would not have expected, and I find that extremely interesting. 
I, I'd agree with you. I guess it speaks more to our population than anything. Well, our population is what it's all about. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I'm going to thank, uh, thank the council members and, and mayor for joining us tonight. Uh, it's really appreciated to uh, um, know that you, uh, you value the effort that we're doing. So thank you. I think the only folks left in that uh, breakout room now are your consultants, Robert. So. Okay. Well, I think uh, I will, if you uh, give me the opportunity to go in there, I can let them know. Well, I guess I, they saw the little I closed note it. that you're closing. Yeah, I closed good night, it. good night. It'll give them a the countdown. There, they're, they're all jumping out now. So thanks, Ruta. Thanks, Rhea. Thank you. Thanks, Nyan. Thanks to all. I think Ian Thank you, Robert. disappeared. Oh, thank um, thank you so much, Robert. Look forward to distilling the information and thank you so much for, for tonight. We think that, uh, I, I think from my perspective, I think it went well. I'm looking forward to hearing feedback from others, um, but I think we got some good uh, good participation. From, yes, from folks. yes, we did. It was, a, it was a great meeting. A lot of good information. Okay.